Okay, I haven't done this before. Okay, so there's a 10 ounce button, eight ounce, six ounce. They really need like a 12 to 14 ounce button. Okay, <laughs> because a 10 fills it up to like here. And I need more coffee than that. So I thought, well, I'll fill it up with six. This is a new mug. Um, and I, I wanted more coffee than right here. <laughs> so I filled it up with six, but now it's like super full. I can't put in my creamer. So they really need a 10 or 12 to 14 ounce button Keurig. You got it? Okay. That would be perfect because now I can't add creamer. <laughs> coffee problems. I poured a little out and Reagan, that Reagan was like, mom, just pour a little out. You don't have to be so dramatic. <laughs> oh, I need more creamer than that. <laughs> Reagan wanted to pour my cream in. Thank you. A little more. Drew is having a fit. Oh my goodness. He just, okay. Thank you. Does that look good? Na -na. Good morning. What are you doing, Kinley? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you just living your best life over there? She'll come later. Still have to get little kids dressed. Drinking some coffee. Finish getting myself ready. But we are having some repair people come in the house. Um, countertops are being replaced today, which is, I mean, it's exciting because it's new countertops for the remainder of the time that we're living here. Um, what, baby? Me? Okay, so repair people are coming this afternoon. A plumber has to come first to disconnect the water. Um, so we're going to be without water in here because they can't come back and reconnect it until tomorrow. And this has been a hard thing. To even have happen like this I, like they could not find a plumber to come I, I have no idea why okay but they finally found someone to come today and then come back tomorrow to rehook it up so this countertop I'm sure that y'all have noticed it over the years in some cooking videos is significantly cracked okay like really bad it was like this when we moved in um so this is one of the things that has to be fixed obviously for them to list the house so like i said it'll be nice to have new countertops um for the remainder of the time that we're here but isn't that awful y'all like and it's it's only gotten worse over the years but like that's part of the crack right there too so anyways this is getting replaced today and the sink is a part of the countertops so there will be a new sink installed as well so i really need to fuel up we have to unload underneath the sink. Does anybody else keep bringing them bases underneath their sink? Just me? Um, yes, baby. So we have to clean out underneath the sink and uh, clear off the countertops. And do school today. Okay, so first step is done. I'm, I mean, the countertops and the sink are so outdated, so it is a good thing, but it's just frustrating. So the plumbers came, so I'm kind of like baffled as to why, like, I feel like a countertop place should have plumbers on call. I don't know. Because it honestly was hard to find somebody to be able to come in the time frame that we needed. Like, but it worked out. People are coming. So that's disconnected. Got a faucet on my island because, you know, that's normal. I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> like, because I have to have all the countertops cleared. So I guess I'll just put it in the garage. I don't know. Yeah, that was just the plumbers. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to do school amongst all this. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> but Logan's done with school. Reagan's done with school. Um, now I'm going to work with Jackson. Jackson's done just spelling, right? So we got to get on with his schoolwork. But fun day today. Good news is I'm not cooking dinner. I mean... <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, side note, so there's no drains in the sink. Okay, I'm going to spare y'all the grossness. <laughs> I just know liquid is going to be poured in, in the sink. It's going to drip down, so maybe I should put a dish under the sink just in case that happens. Like, I just know there's just so many people here. Like, I've told everybody, don't put anything down the sink, but... Maybe if I put, I don't even know that a rag would fit there. <sighs> I already have been outside twice. It's so funny, like, I literally was just reaching to turn on the water. There's no water there, there's no faucet. Um, it's so funny, like, yeah, the refrigerator water will work. It's just disconnected from underneath the sink. 
Um, but I've already been outside like three times to dump out cups of water, bowls of milk from cereal. I didn't know, the plumbers weren't supposed to be here till 10 and they showed up at nine. So I wasn't 100% prepared, which I mean, it's just part of life, but. Oh. But I wanted to also mention, I went to my PO box over the weekend and I had several cards in there from you guys and just words of encouragement and they just blessed me so much and I just wanted to say a huge thank you. And we had a gift from somebody that there wasn't a card. So I don't know who it's from, but I absolutely love it. So it came from Walmart, obviously. It's a Pioneer Woman Dutch Oven. Oh my goodness. I have looked at these over the years and have wanted one and have never bought one, obviously. It is so pretty. I love it. But it doesn't say who it's from. It just came from Walmart. So if you sent it to me, please comment or send me an email because I want to tell you thank you personally. Um, I assume because of doing the sourdough that, you know, like you're supposed to bake it in a Dutch oven that that's why it was gifted but I just love it and thank you so much all right taking a break <laughs> Jackson's done with school now and then I have Miley to work with but I'm getting outside for some fresh air several kids are running around we're just taking a little break um but I wanted to update y'all on the green stock because many of you guys asked me to so it's been two weeks I think since I planted this so I thought that I would just show you the progress Okay, so these are my tomato plants that I put in canvas bags. So far, they are looking great. So I had many comments about wanting to update. Y'all wanted me to update you on how the green stock is doing. So far, it is going really well, and I am loving it. Now, I did get many comments about the types of plants that I put in here. So most of them, I think, will work well from according to the directions that came with the green stock. I did put like a zucchini up here on the top just to kind of test its limits and see how it would do. Um, it has not grown much, so I mean, it might not do well, which is fine. I just, again, wanted to test it. So most of the tomato plants that I put in here are a smaller variety. Oh, uh, that white frog. So we have a white frog that's living in that yellow container right there <laughs> that Reagan just found. But these tomatoes have grown a ton, um, but I purposely did, like, this is super sweet 100 tomatoes. Um, so I have four of those in here. So I think, I mean, I think that those will do good. They seem very sturdy. Is the frog scaring you? And obviously I have my flowers. I put in two basil plants. There's one there, one here. I've got marigolds. So now I did put a few cucumbers in here and I don't think I had them hard enough, well enough because they died. <laughs> but two of them are surviving. So I'm excited about that. And the empty pockets hey baby can you say hi um that are empty we put cucumber seeds in and you know just waiting for those to sprout we just did those a couple days ago so that's so far how it's doing so far i i think it'll work really good now i did put one big tomato plant in here i don't remember the variety but i'm gonna have to get some you know obviously some sort of support for that but i wanted to test out you know big tomatoes and just some other things. I think cucumbers will do okay. Um, so it's just been a fun project. All right, getting lunch done. Some of the little kids are having peanut butter and jelly. And some of the older kids and I are having this taco that I got at Costco last night. So I shared this on a grocery haul video. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. I'm really glad that I bought this because comfort food is tacos for me. And I really need that today. You like lemon? No, I won't eat the limes. I actually don't like lemon or lime, but I do like the cilantro lime sauce that comes with it. It is very good. Reagan wants a taco. Does that look good? You want a taco? It looks gross. It looks gross. No, it's not. Would you like a taco? No? You yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to do what we got to do. You can't use the sink. Be careful. Oh, here. Let go, baby. You don't have to hold it. Draining the pasta into another big pot. And then once pasta. it cools down, yeah. Well, macaroni and cheese. Some of the older kids wanted macaroni and cheese. I want it. No, you already have one. Yeah, you already have one. This. After draining the mac and cheese, Taylor said, I mean, you don't realize how much you use the sink until you don't have one. I was like, I know it, girlfriend. I know. 
All right, got all the countertops cleared off. <laughs> all the stuff is sitting here. <laughs> I mean, what else do we do with it all? We got dirty dishes. I guess I could wash those in the bathroom sink. Sourdough starter. <laughs> like, wow. This is just reality right now. So here's one last look at the old, outdated, ugly, broken countertops. <laughs> and hopefully this is an easy task. I've never lived through anything like this, so I don't really know. But it will be nice to have new countertops for the remainder of time that we're here anyways. Um, so just looking forward to it being done. I'm wondering if now, if I should remove these items though, just in case, because I don't want anything to fall and get broken. But so here's the last look. Are you ready? Kim, but what's the matter? You want mama? <laughs> One. Mid demo. You like got, this hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like it came off all I know. Piece. Yeah, it did. That's the island resting there. Look at the old linoleum over there. That's so gross. Oh my goodness. It does look clean. Cool. Oh, it is. We left the construction site. And it is so windy. Oh my goodness. Hi. Daddy's home. Say hi, Daddy. Barbara, stop it! You're a really good girl. Where did the wind come from? I have no idea. Me too. Okay, so we left. The countertops are still being installed. Um, the boys have baseball practice, so we are all up here. And we're going to get dinner while we're out because obviously I can't cook. It's so windy. Um, water will be turned back on tomorrow. So I'll show you all updated once we get home. Um, the countertops are pretty. I wasn't sure. I didn't know what they were going to look like. So they are not my first choice, but they're not, they're not bad. It's not windy. Yeah. Why not? It's cooling me off. Yeah. I like the wind. I like the wind. Jackson's helping. This is Logan's practice. There's Logan. And Jackson's out in the outfield. He's in the outfield. Okay, so we went and we got barbecue, y'all. So we always end up at Chick-fil-A just because it makes most people happy. We have a couple picky eaters. Um, and the barbecue place that we like does not have chicken fingers. So we ended up stopping at Chick-fil-A and getting chicken for the picky eaters. And the rest of us ate at barbecue. And it was very good. I was like, barbecue just sounds amazing. So that's what we got. Um, it was actually very sweet. I don't know if he was the owner or the manager of the restaurant. He actually brought out a tray of brownies for everybody in our family for free. I was like, that was awesome. So I wanted to show you all the countertops before I close out the video. So we still don't have water or any of that hooked up, but the countertops are in and installed and they are very pretty. Um, like I said, I didn't know what was being put in here. I was a little worried, <laughs> um, but they are very nice. So here is a scan. So we're kind of having like this huge discussion in our family is Nathan and Taylor feel like the countertops like are giving us more space width wise in between the cabinets. I don't feel that at all. It actually feels shorter to me. So I don't know. I'm thinking these countertops are thinner and our old ones were higher. So I, it just feels, it feels much shorter. Like I feel taller in this kitchen. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. Well, actually, if you look at the windowsill, which is all dusty from them doing work, I have to clean everything. Um, I'm going to have to measure that. So that's the difference. This is how I measure things, y'all. Anybody else do that? <laughs> that's accurate, right? Okay. Anyway, so I will actually have to measure it. But here they are. They are installed. He said that we could actually put stuff on it now. He just wouldn't rest anything all the way back up to the backsplash. Um, so very nice. I, everything's kind of dusty. And a new sink. I was very excited about the new sink because the old sink. So the old material that was in here was um corian and it stained so easily and especially just having a busy family and little kids it just it didn't seem like mustard would get on the counter and it would stain it and i constantly was trying to clean it it just drove me nuts anyway so same with the sink it scratched really easy which i'm i don't know if this will or not but anyways looks very nice there's all of our encouraging notes that we wrote during this 
time that we are waiting and praying for God to bring us the house that he has for us. Um, so that's what all those notes are right there. But anyways, here's the countertops. Need to wipe everything down, put everything back in order. We might just do that tomorrow to make sure that we don't, you know, mess anything up. But the water will actually be turned on tomorrow. I think Nathan said that they're coming around noon, one o'clock. So that will be nice. Um, and then we'll be good to go. So that was one of the big projects that I was not really looking forward to um, going through, but we made it mainly just the water not being on and just the debris and stuff like that. But it really isn't that bad to clean up and wipe down. I just didn't know what to expect. And having not having water so far in the kitchen hasn't been as awful as I thought it was gonna be. We have made it work. Um, and then, like I said, tomorrow afternoon, it will get turned on and I can get stuff cleaned up and put everything back in its place. So it's late, I gotta get kids cleaned up and in bed. As I say, this Nathan's outside playing basketball. But thanks for hanging out with us um, in our very, I don't even know what to call today. Today was just kind of a topsy-turvy day, but thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you on the next video.